So I'm working on a top-down card again, and I'm getting to the point where I need to put my sleeve stitches on a holder. So I just need to knit right to that marker, then I can show you how I do this. Okay, at the marker, I will need that in just a minute but I don't need that needle right now. What I need to do is get all of these stitches on a holder. And I'm gonna use this little bit of yarn. I'm threading my tapestry needle and I'm simply transferring stitches this way, just a few at a time, little bites. And when I feel like I need to, I can just slide those onto my yarn, my holding yarn. You'll notice I'm using a yarn that's different from what I'm working with, different than my working yarn, so I can really tell the difference between them when it comes time to pick these all back up. Feels good to divide or separate the sleeves onto holder. Look at all these stitches that get to go on vacation while I start to work on just the front and the back of this thing. That's fun. Slip, slip, slip. Get on there. A few more slippies and then we'll have this done. showing this just because I do want to show what I really want to show you is how I'm going to add the stitches casting on those stitches that's what I'm really excited about showing you but I'm almost to my other marker take your time of course when you're doing this make sure you catch all those stitches you don't want to miss a loop and have a stitch just sneakily running away while you're working on the body of the thing. I have two more to go. One, two, and a second marker. I'm just going to need one marker right now. But first, I will take the beginning and end of my little waste yarn and give myself a little knot. I like to leave um, a good amount of yarn there so that if I want to try this on I still can so I make sure that my waste yarn is long enough for for those um, for that to happen if I want to try it on so now what I need to do according to the instructions on this is I need to cast on seven stitches place a marker cast on seven more and then keep going so this is how I do it I turn my work around and so, well, first, sorry. First, a lot of times what people will do is just a backwards loop cast on where you take the yarn and do this kind of a loop, backwards loop. So you're making a, um, a loop and then putting it on the needle. So I just did three of them. And that kind of, it works okay, right? Here's a different way to do it which I like better. And it's kind of like a knitted cast on, but it's more of a purl did cast on because we're going to purl. So this is my first stitch. So I'm going to purl a stitch. I did as I turned it around. This stitch was already on my needle. So I just purled through it and I'm putting it back on my left hand needle. So that's one. I'll go back into that same stitch that, well, the one I just put on the needle, I'm going to purl again. That's two. Here's a third one. And you see, I'm not even taking my right hand needle out. Four. Five. I'm tightening up my yarn. Six. And then here's number seven. Now I need a marker to go on next. So it was seven stitches, 
then a marker. So I'm going to go ahead and start my stitch. So there's my next of the other seven. So there's a marker. There's one, the one I already did. Two. Three. Four. Five. seven. Okay. And I'm actually going to do one more. So that's an extra stitch. Now let's turn to the right side and ignoring, yay, all those sleep stitches. Goodbye, sleep stitches. We'll see you later. I'm going to put that last stitch onto my left hand needle, just my last stitch down there. There you go. And you don't have to do this part, of course, but this is what I'm going to do just to make sure that it's super sturdy. It's on the underarm, but I'm going to slide that stitch, that last extra stitch over the, um, the first stitch on here. So you can kind of see how that's now linked. Then I'm going to go back and knit that stitch, the new blue stitch. So there's actually a little tiny pearl looking thing there, but that's okay. It's on the underarm. And then I'm just going to continue knitting along. If I get a few of these on here, I can kind of show you what those newly cast on stitches look like. So now instead of just backwards loops, I actually have um, real true cast on stitches. And since I did them this way with the, you know, as a purl stitch, when I turn it around, they look a lot like knit stitches on this side and I'm good to go. So I'm just gonna finish these extra few stitches. This is the other front of my piece and I can keep working back and forth and continuing.